Does anyone know what a DCC is? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. In 1992, Philips, the same people who introduced the audio cassette in 1962, and in 1982 with Sony introduced the compact disc, introduced the digital compact cassette, the DCC. That same year, Sony introduced the mini disc that used magneto optical recording. Sony had introduced the DAT digital audio tape five years earlier. All three were meant to be consumer digital recorders to be used with a compact disc, which at that time could not record. The DCC looked very much like the original Philips cassette, except that it had a sliding metal door similar to a three and a half inch floppy computer disc. The DCC's cool factor was that the player was backward compatible, meaning that it could play both the new digital cassettes and also the original analog cassettes. It used a dash digital audio stationary head design as opposed to a rotating head like the DAT. It was also one of the first devices to display text info like the artist's name and track title. Although many recording artists release material in this format, it was discontinued in 1996 due to poor sales. Probably the primary reason that people didn't flock to the DCC was that they'd had a taste for nonlinear access with a compact disc, and now waiting for tape to fast forward or rewind was no longer acceptable. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.